The self-timer button on the front of the Nikon D3000 is also called the function button because it can be used for other things besides the self-timer mode. So let's take a look at what the other available functions are and how to choose one of them. Press the menu button, go to the setup menu tab, select the buttons menu, and then select the self-timer function button submenu. This is the setting that determines what the function button does when you press it. And there are seven choices. Self-timer, release mode, image quality and size, ISO sensitivity, white balance, active de-lighting, and set framing grid. By default, the function button is programmed to activate the self-timer mode, and that's probably the best setting to leave it on. But if one of these other functions appeals to you, this is where you change it. Now I need to point out that the other six functions work a little differently than how the self-timer works. As we saw earlier, when you want to take a photo with the timer, you just press the function button and the timer will be ready to go. But with the other six functions, you have to hold down the function button and rotate the command dial to activate them. For example, let's say that you want to be able to use the function button to quickly change the release mode anytime you want at a minute's notice. First, you select the release mode option from this menu. Now, the function button is programmed to control the release mode instead of the self-timer. Whenever you want to change the release mode to a different setting, you just hold down the function button and, again, rotate the command dial to quickly cycle through all five of the release modes until you find the one that you want to use. To get more great digital photography tips for your camera, be sure to check out www.larkbooks.com slash digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting. Yeah.